and hikers can now return to a popular trail in Deer Creek Canyon Park. The Rattlesnake Gulch Trail we op reopened this week following a nasty wildfire. That fire last month burned about 25 acres. Investigators think a couple of kids started it, but they have not been able to track them down. Tonight, we tracked down Jamie Leary. She is at the park, and Jamie, we know it's popular, and boy, a lot of those great trails were badly damaged by the flames. The fire hit the main part of the park, which is actually on this hillside just behind the fire department. Now, these firefighters here, along with more than 50 agencies that worked for 72 hours straight, they all prevented a lot of loss. But what was left over, the aftermath of this fire, some serious concerns about erosion. This is the actual waddle itself. It may not sound too exciting, but and as the rain came, it started these to waddles the saved the entire hillside from erosion. And to Matt Robbins, it's just one reminder of all the work Jefferson County has done here. Wow. Again. Yeah, full evaluation of the property. That includes the structures, uh, the substructures. The it's a long here, list, the but the park is finally fully open, and there's a huge bonus: signs of life. With the heat of the fire, Matt was skeptical anything would grow. You can see a little bit of dust coming off, but it's actually, there's some soil not that far below where if the fire was much hotter, it would have just been all dust. Jeffco Open Space has done a lot of the recent work, but saving this was beyond just Jeffco. It's hard to believe that we're sitting under this structure that was completely surrounded by fire, but if it wasn't for the efforts of those, of those first responders to stand here with fire hoses and hold it back, it's in rather pristine condition. Lines where firefighters drug hoses are still visible. They did it all overnight. They did it all by hand. They drug hose and they used hand tools. While there's more work to be done, Matt couldn't be more proud of the response. It took all of us, and I think my biggest takeaway is what a positive message that is that this community can rally so quickly. Now, there's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of revegetation in those areas that were scarred so badly, nothing can grow. There are some of those areas, so Jeffco Open Space asks that all recreationalists here stay on those trails. I did talk to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office today. It says it's still investigating leads. Live in Deer Creek Canyon, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.